Minimalist is an extreme form of abstract art typified by artworks, composed by extreme simplicity, stripped down design, and a focus on fundamental elements such as shape, color, and form. It often seeks to eliminate non-essential elements, aiming to create art that is reduced to its most essential and fundamental features. Minimalist artworks can take the form of paintings, sculptures, installations, or even performance art, and they often evoke a sense of clarity, precision, and spatial awareness. Repetition Minimalist art frequently involves repetition, with artists creating multiple images of the same shape, particularly basic geometric forms such as lines and squares. Geometric shape. Minimalist art effectively employs geometry and various elements to have the greatest expressiveness with the resources used. Additionally, minimalist paintings and sculptures consistently center around geometric shapes, predominantly emphasizing the significance of squares and rectangles in this artistic style. Simplicity. Minimalist art is distinguished by its simple structure and appearance. This style is often considered purer and more streamlined compared to other art forms, characterized by little or no visible brush strokes and clean distinctions between colors. Limited color choices. Another identifier of minimalist art involves its utilization of color, emphasizing tones devoid of expression. Early works often embrace monochromatic color schemes, sticking to a single color and its associated hues, such as black, gray, and white. This imparts a neutral quality to the artwork, preventing the color not to become more than what it is. In minimalist art, colors aren't employed for personal expression, but rather to convey impact and the world as it is. Precise and hard edge. Minimalist painting is looking for hard edge, precise borders between color areas, devoid of shade or subtle transitions. Specific shapes like squares and rectangles are highly favored in this style due to their ability to provide specific forms and hard edges. Lack of expression. Minimalist art typically lacks emotional expression. Artists in this style tend not to convey their personality or feelings in the artwork. When observing a minimalist painting, you won't encounter grand concepts, intricate themes, or societal messages. These artworks predominantly focus on geometry and color, prioritizing the essence of art itself over evoking emotional responses. Industrial Materials In minimalism, materials play the pivotal role in artwork creation. Artists in this style favored raw, mass-produced materials, rejecting traditional craftsmanship ideals. Industrial materials like metal, concrete, and glass were commonly used, highlighting their inherent qualities and connection with the environment. This deliberate choice emphasized objectivity, simplicity, and the essential nature of materials in line with minimalism's principles. Focus on the viewer. Minimalism prioritizes the viewer's experience, focusing on the interaction between the artwork and the observer. Minimalism often simplifies and reduces forms to directly engage the viewer, inviting them to interact with the artwork on their own terms. The minimalist art movement is one of the most influential of the 1960s. 
Emerging in New York City, among a number of young artists who were moving away from abstract expressionism and favored a sleek geometric aesthetic instead, which would manifest itself in minimalist art. Earlier Euro European abstract movements greatly influenced American minimalist art creators. In that period, works by the Dutch De Steel artists Russian constructivists and members of the German Bauhaus were being shown in New York. Each of these groups had pioneered radical abstraction and inspired artists like Donald Judd, Dan Flavin, and more Robert Morris to explore new directions in their art. The minimalist broke with the abstract expressionist by eliminating all form of metaphor or theme from their works of art. The, this restriction on expression combined with a desire to create uh, items that did not resemble works of art resulted in the production of sleek geometric pieces that fundamentally and purposely reject traditional aesthetic appeal. Minimalists aim to eliminate the boundaries between painting and sculpture and to dismantle conventional ideas of sculpture. They specifically criticize the formalist ideology of critic Clement Greenberg, which confined painting to certain parameters and gave preference to painters who appeared to work under his tutelage. Solely with Donald Judd and Robert Morris, the leaders of the minimalist movement, articulated their more democratic viewpoint in essays and exhibitions. These artists wanted to create art that referred only to itself, allowing the viewer an immediate purely visual response. The personal gestural elements were stripped away with the aim to reveal the objective visual elements of art. Donald Judd, Untitled Stocks series of sculptures consisting of identical geometric units arranged vertically or horizontally exploring the space and repetition 100 untitled works in mill aluminum an installation of 100 aluminum boxes each with the same outer dimensions but varying interior spaces emphasizing the viewer's perception of space Dan Flavin Monument for Vita Tling, a series of fluorescent light sculptures that utilize commercially available fluorescent tubes in various colors and arrangement to transform architectural spaces. Sol Lewitt, wall drawings, geometric and conceptual wall drawings executed directly on architectural surfaces, often consisting of precise lines and shapes following the specific instructions outlined by the artist. Agnes Martin, White Flower, a series of serene, grid-based paintings characterized by delicate lines and subtle variations in colors, evoking a sense of calmness and meditation. Carl Andre, Equivalent 8, a controversial artwork consisting of a series of fabrics arranged in a rectangular pattern on the floor, inviting viewers to reconsider the definition and purpose of art. Donald Jude's Untitled often challenges traditional notions of sculpture by emphasizing the object's objecthood. Each box exists as an individual unit while contributing to the overall composition. The absence of decoration or narrative allows the viewer to focus solely on the pure form and materiality of the piece. Untitled invites viewers to consider the interplay between the artwork and its surroundings, the relationship between object and space, and the simplicity of form as a means of creating meaning and aesthetic experience. Monument for V. Tatlin invites viewers to engage with the physical presence of light itself as an artistic medium. The fluorescent tubes emit a luminous glow, transforming the surrounding space and creating a distinct ambience. The deliberate arrangement of these lights can evoke various emotions or alter perceptions of the space they inhabit. Flavin's work often prompts contemplation about the nature of light, 
its interaction with architectural elements, and how it influences the way we perceive our environment. By employing minimal means, Flavin generates a maximal effect, inviting viewers to reconsider the relationship with art, light, and space in a modern context. The concept of impermanence is integral to Levitt's world drawings. They were often created for temporary exhibitions, allowing for the possibility of being painted over or modified in different locations. This transient nature challenges the traditional notion of an artwork as a static, unchanging object, emphasizing instead the idea and the process behind its creation. Levitt's wall drawings encourage viewers to consider the conceptual aspects of art making, the role of the artist's idea versus its execution, and the relationship between the artwork and its environment. They embody the concept that art exists in the realm of ideas as much as it is its physical manifestation. Opening up discussions about authorship, the interpretation, and the nature of artistic creation. Number 4. White Flower invites viewers into a meditative space, encouraging contemplation and introspection. Martin's minimalist approach, with its emphasis on simplicity and repetition, might evoke a sense of tranquility and evoke feelings of serenity or inner calm in the viewer. Martin's work often invites reflection on the essential aspects of existence, the beauty of simplicity, and the search for inner peace amid the complexities of life. White flower might serve as a visual metaphor for the inherent beauty and for tranquility found in the simplest elements of nature, inspiring viewers to find the moments of stillness and harmony within themselves. Number 5. Equivalent A challenges the idea of a sculptural object by emphasizing the relationship between the artwork, the space it occupies, and the viewer's perception. The piece invites contemplation on concepts of geometry, order, and the fundamental elements of form and material, pushing boundaries and sparking discussions about the definition and essence of art. 